So here we have the Volkswagen Polo on a 71 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the coolant temperature gauge. We have the fuel gauge on the right-hand side, the speedometer in the dead center. Also in the center, we have the total miles for this car. They are 12,146. Uh, up in that section, you've also got uh, various bits of information over on the left-hand side you can change, uh, and on the right-hand side as well. And that is done using the buttons uh, on this side of the steering wheel. We have stereo controls there as well, which continue on the left-hand side cruise control once you set cruise control on uh, you can hit this button this car is able to maintain its own distance uh, between yourself and the car in front both speeding up and slowing down automatically depending on the car in front speed and then in the center we have the main touch screen for the car so a few options down the right and left hand side for example we're on the radio menu at the moment you can see there we have fm dab and internet radio if you want to listen to your own music you can do so via bluetooth audio so you can stream your music wirelessly uh, my media will allow you to set up your own playlists within the car and those options are available under both the radio and media headings you can see down in the bottom left hand corner exactly the same options to pay your phone hit the phone icon just there and then follow the instructions on your phone screen and on this screen of course as they come up working our way down we have the air conditioning you can adjust the temperature fan speed and the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in the air conditioning's on at the moment, so that's off. Back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly in here, depending on the temperature you've set over there. And you can see that's now turned on. Underneath that, we have two USB-C inputs, along with plenty of storage. Uh, the gear lever for the five-speed manual gearbox. And then this button down here, which will turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is off when that light shows. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this ULES compliant car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.